again, this is why we need to read carefully. Okay, so here's the question. If Cain and Abel were the only two children of Adam at the time, after Cain kills Abel, who is he afraid of? Because he says, now anyone who finds me will kill me. Right? And so right. how? There's nobody else. Reread Genesis 4, everyone. If you read Genesis 4, nowhere does it say Cain and Abel were the only children. Let me now correct that misreading. Listen now, because this is a common objection. If you read, it mentions Eve giving birth to Cain and Abel. But then it says, a period of time elapsed. A course of time elapsed. So that means many years went by. How do we know? Because now Cain and Abel are grown. One is tending flocks. The other is tending the ground. Do you expect me to believe they came out of this mother, mother's womb? One is a farmer. The other is a shepherd. Or did it take a, some time? But, but Sam, uh, I, 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 I saw this once, but I, I saw that, that Tess, when he was born, okay. uh, his mother Eve was 120 years old, maybe. She was? Can you show me where it says she was she 120? Was, uh, why are you making up stuff like, me, uh, as long as uh, the way, you know, on your way? 130. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had his son on likeness in his own image. Seth, and made him Seth, you misquoted Seth, it again. What did I say? You said Cain. Who? How old was oh, no. Adam and Eve when they had Cain and Abel? I don't know. So then why are you going to Genesis 5 about Seth? Because that's not talking about Seth as the third child. It's saying later on, after Abel was killed, Seth was appointed to replace Abel. It doesn't mean there weren't other children. Among all the children, Seth was chosen, not the others. Just like when David had many sons, Solomon was chosen, not the others. So when Abraham, oh, J I'm sorry, Jacob had 12 sons, Joseph, where you're getting, there was only Seth. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm not getting that. I am saying even if he had more children. Yeah. They would be not more than 120 years old. So if if Eve had a child every year, yeah. she would have like 120 okay. children. So let's say Cain okay. is 40 years old. How old would the rest be? Not older than 40. Okay, so that means they're still in, in their teens and 20s, so they can kill Cain, right? That is correct. So what's your argument? You're making no sense. That is true, because I think of it like, like okay, but 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 the people know that this is Cain. Why does God need to put a sign on him? Because, because they know. what do you think? Little, like, now they listen to party. yourself. Listen to yourself. Who do you think would want to kill Cain for murdering Abel? Everyone. No. Why like, everyone? No, they don't know who Abel is. Who gives a damn? Who would want to kill Cain for killing Abel? His other His brother. Brother. Ah, now it makes sense. You get it Thank now. You. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, he's that afraid. That's why he's afraid. They're going to hear about me killing our brother. Now they're going to come after me to kill me for what I did. And God says, no. That is true. No, that's not going to happen. They're not going to touch you because I'm going to punish them. So if you read the that story in context and not misread it like you just did, oh, if he's 40, they're not older than 40. Oh, you mean a 15-year-old can't take a knife and stab you? Okay. okay, so who cares they're not 40? They're still in their teens and in their 20s. Hello, George. Hello, George. Hold on. Timmy wants to come in. Should I let Timmy speak? No, it's okay. Sorry. Okay, let, let me now run you through it. In Genesis 4, it's talking about Cain and Abel because it's going to talk yes. about Cain killing Abel, so they're the main characters, right? right. It's going to talk about the first murder. But they didn't come out of their mother's womb. Hey, Cain, I'm going to go and tend the flock and you and become, you know, the gardener. You know, tending. it says a course of time, meaning a period of time elapsed. They were mature and old enough so that one could tend the flocks, the other tend the ground, right? Right. So where does it say in that period of time they didn't have other sons and daughters? It, it doesn't say. Because the story is not about how many kids 
Adam and Eve had after Cain and Abel, how old are they? It's trying to make a specific point. So it's focusing on the main actors. Cain and Abel, because Cain kills Abel, it's trying to mention the first murder. That's the focus of that. It's like you see a movie, right? In a movie, I'm the main actor. You may find a scene in which I go home and have my family there, but they're not the focus of the film. I am. Right? That is correct. Okay. So Genesis 4, the focus is on Cain and Abel and Cain mur murdering Abel. It's not interested in telling you how many other sons and daughters were born, but that there were other born, two factors. Number one, it says this took place after a period of time. Years went by. So unless you assume Adam and Eve lived like monks and had no children, why would you assume that? I can't assume something. I'm not knowing. So here, let's use your logic. Uh, Eve, we had Cain and Abel. Let's take a break from having sex and having children. What do you, what do you think? It's true. You get it, right? I mean, mm -hmm. now when you think about it, common sense, right? So what was Cain and Abel doing? I'm sorry, Adam and Eve doing? They were playing what? They were playing poker? <laughs> no, they were, they were uh, reproducing to make the earth full. Okay, thank you. So there are many sons and daughters at that time, but they're not mentioned because they're not part of the story. The story is how Cain murdered his brother, how evil he was. Right? So now it yes, makes sense. Right. The second fact that we know there are other. What is Cain worried about? If he goes to a foreign land, who's going to know? They didn't have internet. They didn't have newspapers. Right? That's true. So that is what, true. If, he, if he went away, no one will know. Right? Okay. I murder someone, let's say, in Iraq. There is no internet, no newspapers, and I flee to Jordan. Why am I going to be afraid? Who in Jordan knows what I did? No one. So then why is Cain afraid that whoever finds me will kill me? Because his brothers will find him. Exactly. That his other brothers and sisters can say, what happened in Abel? Oh, he's killed. Who killed him? Cain? After him. That is correct. So where's the problem? There's no problem if you think about it in a, yeah. in a common sense. You've way. got to, man, unless you want to think that Adam and Eve were playing patty cake. You know what, uh, Eve? Enough kids. Let's play patty cake. Patty cake, patty cake, bakers. Right? <laughs> that is true because this argument, they use it a lot uh, the, the atheists and this stuff, but they say they want to prove some errors in the Bible, so they prove it as an error. Like, there's something no, it proves that they're and stupid, they, that they should be reading comic books because they're not educated enough to read serious books, right? That is correct. Because That's if correct. Adam and Eve are commanded to have children, are you telling me after Cain and Abel, Abe said, you know what, I need a break, Adam, I can't handle this? That is true. See? So anyway. Hope that's clear. So any other questions?